Okay, I start here with my boost, which is a buffer. From there, I go into my full tone, which is a deluxe. From there, I go into my compressor, which is a Strymon compressor. Then I go into the Strymon Sunset, which is a dual overdrive. From there, I go into my Boss volume pedal. From there, I go into my Eventide, which I have set on an octave, which I leave on most of the time now that I have the Spear Shakers going, which is a power duo. From there, I go stereo at that point in the chain into my Delay. And this is a TC Electronics triple flashback delay. And that allows me to use all three delays at once or individually. So it's not just pick one, you can have all three and you can run them in series or in parallel. And each one of them saves. So no matter what happens to the knobs, I've got it locked down. So I have a short delay at 400 and 40 milliseconds. Then the one over here is ping pong at 880 milliseconds. Then in the middle, I've got just a regular delay that's a little bit long and that has a little bit of chorus to it. From here, again, I stay stereo into my second even tide, which is, uh, I either use the shimmer, which sounds like a, a synthesizer, a big wall of sound, or I use the black hole which is their signature reverb, or I'll use a uh, flanger. And then from there, my final thing is this Infinity Looper. And that syncs to Ableton Live whenever I do my solo show and wanna loop, use loops and beats. And that little foot pedal there uh, goes, uh, it makes the Infinity go backwards, uh, doing the reverse thing, or to undo a loop that I just uh, recorded. So that is my pedal board. So it's stereo. Obviously I've got my old 63 Strat. Um, the serial number on it's a 65, but the neck is a 63. The body's a 65 or the other way around. I never can remember. Uh, but when I first got it, it had zero scratches on it. Then I go into two deluxe reverbs when I play with a drummer, and I use two uh, Princeton reverbs when I play solo using loops and beats. So that is my rig. At home, I use all the same setup, except when I get to the overdrive, I come out of the overdrive and I go into a super reverb, a 1965 super reverb, out of there into a dummy load, from the dummy load into um, an Iconoclast uh, speaker simulator. From there I go back into the chain and finish the chain out. So uh, that lets me play in the studio at any volume I want, get the sound that I want, and um, I can record in my condo at four o'clock in the morning if I want, cranked up, loud enough for me to hear it and play and not bother a soul. So there you go.